What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing not a tutorial on this pit boss. We're going to be doing what you need to have when you are a pit boss pellet smoker owner. This is definitely good for beginners. This is something I wish I knew I needed at the very beginning. Um, don't forget, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for all the latest and greatest videos. And also, don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel. With that being said, if you guys are ready to get another video started, then I'm that guy to do it for you. Let's get it. All right, guys, so getting started with this video. First off, this is a Pitfalls Lexington model. This is probably one of the cheapest ones I believe they make. It's really not that expensive. This model costs $300. Why I went with the cheaper model is because I was new to pellet smoking, I was new to the game, and I really did not know exactly if I was actually gonna like it or not. Now, if you guys need to see the tutorial that I've placed on the pit balls, go down below, look through my playlist, be sure to look at that video because this will tell you everything you need to know about the pit balls. Um, first, we're gonna start with the pit balls probe. Okay guys, now first we're gonna start out with the pit balls probe. When you buy one of these, you get one probe, which is good and I appreciate it, but you need to buy two pit balls probes and they hook right into your electronics so that way one of these can go in your meat and one of these you can set right down on the grates on the inside that's going to give you an exact reading of your temperature on the inside of the kettle what's going on and also your meat so this is an important tip you can buy one of them but buying two 30 bucks these things are cheap and plus I have seen them fail already so it's always good to have a spare all right guys my next tip this is probably gonna blow your mind an insta read thermopro thermometer this thing you're probably gonna use on every single smoke that you do it flips right out nice and easy 20 bucks beautiful price you hit the power button it goes to Fahrenheit or Celsius. I prefer Fahrenheit. And then all you do is just stick it in your meat and it'll give you a reading and stop. And that's it. This is definitely tip number two because you're gonna use it all the time. Your next tip is one of my favorite tips. This is a Thermapro wireless thermometer. You can use this bad boy about 300 feet away. I haven't had it that far away, but I'm pretty sure I had it pretty close. This thing is a game changer for sure. This costs roughly about $40. And what you do is you hit your power button on this, hit your power button on here, program where you want it. So say I have it to 166 degrees on here. This is showing 90.9. This is showing 90.9. This side is what you're gonna take in the house. Then you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna use this end, set it on your power hopper, Run your meat probe right on through the side and stick it in your meat. That way you will have an exact reading without having to be right on top of your digitals through your whole smoke. So wherever you're at, you just set it up. It gives you an accurate reading. That's all you need. They also make these in dual end ones as well. So then you can have one probe going to inside the kettle laying on the grates and the other one going right to the meat. Game changer must have guys for your last tip on what you must have if you like mesquite pellets apple pellets pecan pellets cherry pellets competition blend any pellets i suggest you to go to the store or go online and buy you some of these easy five gallon buckets write the pellet on the lid of what brand it is take the lid put it on top Bang it on, keeps it sealed, it keeps it tight. Usually in my shed, I have it climate controlled, so it works out perfect for me. Right now, it's hot in here. 
Another good thing is when you have them labeled, like say this is apple, right now I have apple pellets in my hopper. Take your five gallon bucket, you can push it right underneath of where this goes, just like that. Pop it out, take your screw out, pop this out, and all of them will go back into the same bucket so you don't have a bag under there and they're spilling everywhere or you drop the bag or anything like that. It makes it super simple and super easy. 20 bucks, go get you some. You can't beat it. Well guys, you're wondering right now, how much did all this cost you combined? Without the rubs, without the spices, without the grilling utensils or anything like that, everything that I showed you in this video, your final price comes out to be $410. $410, that's cheap. That's dirt cheap. Definitely when you get a machine that operates as efficiently as this. It makes it super easy, super simple, or you can get one of these. You can spend that. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys watching another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, I like doing these type of videos. They're quick and they're easy. They're fun. So if you guys like this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for all the latest and greatest videos. And don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel. It's you, the viewers, that keep this channel going each and every single week. With that being said, I am out. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys.